guys it's going to be a quick tutorial on the um, little 2x2x3 two by two by tower that I've got here um, if you already know how to solve the domino or if you've watched my tutorial then this shouldn't be too much of a problem for you at all um, just need to go over one quick concept before we start um, when you're doing the corner swaps so say you're swapping the top corner for the bottom this messes up the pieces on this side because you're turning those at the same time you actually turn it three times in the course of putting the corner from top to bottom um, so what you need to do is uh, recognize the concept of having a working space so when you swap a corner from the top to the bottom on this side the next corner you swap you also do it on on this side and that will actually turn this piece back to where it came from so I'll point it out to you again while we're doing this off so I'll, I'll just scramble this up now and we'll get on with the tutorial it's not a difficult puzzle to solve I actually quite in, I do enjoy this little puzzle um, if you haven't got one already I definitely recommend it it's very easy to solve it's not difficult at all but it's easy just to kind of pick up while you're watching TV or something and just fiddle around with it I, I enjoy doing things like that with these little simple ones whereas the harder ones you know you have to kind of concentrate on what you're doing more much more so you can't really kind of do it at the same time as watching TV or I can't anyway I can't multitask like that okay so first of all you need to get your centers solved now as it stands right now I've got orange opposite yellow yellow opposite orange so this side this centers will solve quite happily so just do a 180 degree turn um, I can't do it the other way because at the moment I've got blue opposite blue green opposite green so turning it 180 degrees achieves nothing so I'll start off as I said by just doing 180 degrees turns so that solves the orange and the yellow and once you've done that you've then they've got green and blue opposite and then green and blue opposite so again you can just turn 180 degrees to solve the center layer now what you need to do now is figure out which color goes on the bottom whether it's on this cube it's light grey or dark grey um, you haven't got a center like you have on the domino cube to show you which one goes where so what I do is I find a corner so take this dark grey with orange and green on it put it next to the orange and green and as you can see the stickers don't match up so obviously this needs to be light grey on the bottom so the one light grey I've got there, I'll put that around to where it goes just to make sure and as you can see that now matches up. So that's solved. So then we just do the um, same algorithm as we used on the domino for swapping a top corner for a bottom corner. So we want the light grey, yellow and blue which is, oh it's in the one, one that's there already. So we do the normal algorithm which is R, U, R, U prime, R. Now as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, this has now messed up the centre on this side. So what you do, you turn the bottom layer or the top layer only, you keep that on your right hand side. So then the next ones you drop down to the bottom, this will actually fix these pieces. So what we're going for now is, uh, let's think, we want blue, we'll go at the back here. So if we put that to there and get the uh, light grey, orange and blue, because obviously the blue there matches this blue here, and we do that same algorithm again. Notice that when I do um, say R, I mean 180 degree turn on this puddle, because that's the only move that's possible. So R, U, R, U prime, R. Give it a twist to put it into the right place, and as you can see it's fixed the centres, and it's put that corner in place and the last one obviously you can only go there so R U R U prime R and that's the bottom layer done now make sure you keep it the, the way round we've been doing the same as before while we do the top layer or at least while we do the first move we've actually um, come into the worst possible situation here which is quite good for a tutorial um, Normally you look, you look for a pair that are matched and put those on the left hand side and swap the two on the right. Now we've got no pairs matched at all as, as, as it happened on this one so we can just do the corner, the top corner swap on any side and that will match a pair up for us. So if you remember the um, method for doing this is R, 
U R U prime R U prime D now this is where this that little move comes in more handy than it did on the domino it, it was pretty useless on the domino but if you if you tried to um, turn the whole thing now you would actually mess the puzzle up so doing that U prime D is very important on this one so you've done the U prime D and then it's R U sorry R U prime R U R now that move it doesn't fix the centers because it actually swaps them twice um, while you're doing that move so make sure you keep this on the on the front face still and you'll find there you go look you've got two blues matched up so move those to the left because the you're going to do the same move again which will swap these two on the right again so it's r u r u prime r u prime d r u prime r u r and that's fixed all four top corners now as you can see we've actually got a little um, it's kind of like a parity problem there we basically got the, the, the last two centers to solve which is very easy to fix um, all you need to do is R U2 R U2 R U2 and that fixes it on this so yeah, that's it, simple as that. Um, I think you've seen every possible permutation in that cell, so it actually worked out quite well. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment and more tutorials on the way. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, please click like and to see my future videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.